Yes, by the grace of God. Good morning to you there, and I believe you are well. Glory be to God. This morning we are sharing truth on assessed upon grace given. And that's coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 27 to the end of it. You are warmly welcome to the Really, Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adeneko. This channel is packed to inform and inspire you into the real knowledge of God, the richer knowledge of God. Everything being powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Ejuspiration. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of Jesus Christ. If you are done with spiritual chocolates and now you want a balanced diet of it, this is the place to be. Let us pray. <laughs> Yes, Heavenly Lord, we give you glory and praise, Father, for every chance we have to share together with your people, to share your word, to share your ways, Almighty. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive, oh God, help from your presence to do this and do it well. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask, O oh God, I will not be here as alone, but do us also of your word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 27. <clears throat> this is 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. And God has appointed this in the church. First apostles, second prophets, third teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, administrations, varieties of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles. Do all have the gifts of healings, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, but earnestly desire the best gifts. And I yet show you a more excellent way. Okay then. Now we are the body of Christ, that's the church, and then um, individually members of that body, parts, if you like, of that body. And um, <clears throat> if indeed we are parts of the body, it implies that the role of each person in the church is a little bit different from the role of the other person, but everybody has a role to play. Um, no matter how small you consider yourself to be in the church, you are parts of the body. Therefore, you have a role to play. Nobody for any reason will say to himself, this my little finger, I don't know quite what he's doing, Let, let's cut it off. Nobody would say that. In natural fact, if it gets injured, the Bible makes us to understand that every, the entire body will suffer. And that's what happens really with the church. When something goes the matter with um, the smallest of persons in the church, some of us behave as if it doesn't concern us. Unfortunately, the devil seems to understand the body of Christ even more than those of us who are members of the body of Christ or, or the body of Christ itself. He understands that when one is injured, actually the whole body is injured. But some of us are not, uh, shall I say, we are not conscious of it or that um, our, our belief and understanding in this uh, body thing is not strong enough to make us be able to relate to it. And so at times, you, you 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 see something happens to one of us is down for whatever reason um, more tongues come out and <laughs> all kinds of things get said at the end of the day uh, virtually killing the person all the more you know make, making things worse with our words and all whereas it's not supposed to be so when this when any part of us suffers all of us have suffered together all of us either carry the glory or carry the shame together god help us in jesus mighty name so you see we are all part of the body of christ and members one by one as men of individually everybody has a role is playing there understand that you have a role discover your role play your role and play it well by the grace of god so it says that he now went on to talk about some people that god has appointed in the church talk about apostles and then prophets thirdly teachers uh, people that work miracles, people with gifts of healings. You will notice that uh, this one is unlike what he, you know we read in the book of Ephesians, where I spoke about the apostles, the, the prophets, the teachers, the pastors, the evangelists. Um, this one it probably had at the back of its mind gifts. If you saw the things we read earlier on in chapter 12, it was about the gifts. And so uh, this one has to do with the gifts, essentially, not necessarily those particular offices. Okay. So he talked about apostles um, and then prophets and then teachers, uh, people that work miracles, people that have particular gifts of healings and then helps. 
people who are able to assist, um, who are able to do quite a lot of charity and things like that. It's amazing how these things happen. I've, I've, I've seen people into this charity, the things they think about, the things they care about, the things they can do. It, the rest of us just marvel. But that's, that's, that's the way God has programmed them. That's the gift he has made them to the church. And we appreciate what they are doing. And the Lord blesses them amazingly. I've seen that over and over and over. And then there are some called administrations. You'll notice that I've uh, left behind some of the other think the ones that we talk about all the time everybody talks about um the people who work miracles gifts of healings everybody talks about those ones and they seem to be straightforward and well understood so these other ones are the ones i'm focusing administrations there are some people who are gifted in administration um in church organization in making things work together making things blend beautifully and you will see that thing coming into play in some christian organizations you see some organization that be so much anointing so much knowledge but they're not able to harness those things together and make things blend together to create a wonder out of it all but why you find somebody who is an is a pastor and also has these gifts of administration it's amazing what what they can put together I, to have a friend uh, who's gone on to be with the lord now it's amazing when it comes to uh, his gift of administration amazing amazing fellow okay you, i mean you just wonder how in the world this guy is able to put all these things together so beautifully and it affects ministry it makes the ministry better integrated better organized and where you find such people in your church Put them in positions where that gift can come into play, can come into manifestation. You know, I know this this person is good in this area. Let him or her organize this thing for you, oversee this other aspect for you because he's gifted, you know, with administration. Then spoke about variety of tongues. We refer to that the other time talking about you know, diverse kinds of tongues. That's what he was trying to say. I think we spoke about that already. Now 29. Are all apostles? No. That's the truth. Are all prophets? No. Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Do all have gifts of healings? Do all do this uh, uh, diverse kind of tongues? Do all interpret? No. So you see, what he, you know, he wasn't saying the no, but I'm saying the no here. You know, um, what he's trying to say is that, like I said before, gifts are different, roles are various, and you should have that understanding and appreciate the role of each person, your own role, that other person's role, and respect him, respect her for what God is doing through him, doing her, through her. There is no competition here at all. Um, each person has his own particular role, and you are not competing with anybody. God is going to score each person, not over 100 and not over 10. He's going to score each person over grace given that's the that's the truth about the matter over grace given therefore there's no competition of course there are people you know that like to look at the size of church or size of followership and all those things it's all about grace god is going to the judgment will be upon grace giving that's the truth about the matter so uh, you can find somebody who is um somehow someone is able to amass a large number of uh, people following him the other one is not able to do that all he does is to teach well he's 30 people he manages to teach them well he's going to be given been scored over grace giving the grace given to you to amass people the grace given to you to teach 30 people how well did you use the grace that's the truth about the matter praise god so everybody has his own role and then we must appreciate the other person when we see them operating in what god has called them to do praise the lord uh, but but and it says earnestly desire the best gifts in other words um it's important for you to be to be passionate in terms of uh, desiring what is most appropriate for your own line of ministry or your own line of service or your own rules in the church the, the, the each, these gifts are the best for such a thing um i cannot say i'm desiring the best gifts and therefore uh you know god i'm really really praying i want to be like a uh, 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 pastor adeboye i will be doing something really really stupid is what god has asked me to do gifts that fit in with what god has asked me to do that's the best gifts in my own case the best gift in the case of some other person take for example somebody in helps is going to be different from the best gift for me pastor the best gift for somebody who is um 
in administration is going to be different from you know from some other ones so uh, and nestle covet the gift that most suits that your role that which god has called you to be or to do in the midst of the church and he now said but i'm going to show you a more excellent way so uh we cannot go beyond that statement for now i'm going to show you a more excellent way therefore the next chapter is where we are going to see this excellent way that he's talking about so please um uh, permit me to end it this way uh, that's the end of chapter 12 and i think it's a good place to stay to stop bye next time around we go to chapter 13 the lord bless you have a wonderful day